Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always on Photoshop. And thank you so much for showing your love and support on my channel and on my Patreon too. And if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please, please, please do subscribe my channel. And don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section so that I can make some improvement on my future videos. And also if you're looking for this PhD file, this will be available on my Patreon. And with that note, let's dive into the video. So first thing first, let's create an artboard. So press Ctrl and N, I'll just create 5x5 five five resolution to 300 color mode to RGB. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And right after that, let's go over here and let's draw some lines. So I'll just draw a line and let's increase uh, the thickness yeah maybe something like that alt and drag let's make a copy go to layer select them both alt and drag select all four alt and drag to make a copy i'm just making some random lines Control E, oh, select all, Control E, let's merge it and let's convert it into a smart object. So here we have, now let's go to filter and let's go over liquify and let's do some liquify right over here. So let's see, let's go for this one and I'm just going to create some random shapes. And again, you can play around with some twirl. So yeah, let's keep it like that and let's click on okay so this is what we got and now let's create a one more layer one more composition so for that press ctrl and n i'll just go with five by five let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and then right after that it's a drag and drop this image right over here yes ctrl t let's make it a little smaller just like so and then maybe more smaller yep just like that let's create a solid and let's go for a kind of darker color yep something like that and let's uh, go to image let's go to adjustment let's go to uh, black and white let's click on ok and let's add a curve Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click on right click let's click on click on clip to layer so that this curve will just affect on this layer now let's go over here and let's draw a triangle just like so and let's make those corner rounded maybe something like that and let's increase uh, the stroke size and make and then i didn't add anything for the fill let's keep the fill at none Yep, let's keep it maybe something like that and then let's move it right over here Control T let's make it a little bigger add some rotation just just like just like so then let's keep it under this layer there and let's move it right around here and let's go over here and let's add a gradient overlay and from this gradient i will just go with the preset one i think i chose this one yep let's go let's go with this one and let's click on ok and again you can change the scale value and also you can do some rotation right over here so but i'll just keep it some, something similar like that and let's click on ok and then let's keep this uh, two layer inside a group control G so that we have everything inside a group and let's create a layer max and then what I like to do is just hide uh, some of these parts under here so let's go to brush and then make sure the color is black and let's hide those parts
maybe just like that again you can spend as much as time uh, to make it perfect Yep, let's keep it something like that. So let's drag and drop right over here and let's keep it under this layer. Control T, let's move it just, just like so. And then again, let's create a layer max, go to brass and we can add Remove some of these parts. And then let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. Let's add a rotation. Just add one right over here. Then again, let's make a one more copy. Control J and let's keep it on top let's drop down the opacity some more yep control t let's add maybe something like that go over here and let's add a text let's change the color to kind of pure white pure white Control T, let's make it a little bigger. Alt and drag, let's make a copy. add some text right over here and let's make it like that and then let's add a one more text control T and for this one let's make change it to black caps yep and let's make one right over here Yep, just, just like so. And this is the very simple technique that I use uh, for my recent client project. And hopefully you guys learned something from this tutorial. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.